don'ts to avoid. There are some easy pitfalls when it comes to being involved in affiliate marketing. Hopefully, we have collected some good advice to help you avoid some common Amazon affiliate mistakes. Don't distract your customers. Make sure that your product presentation website or your affiliate website passes the five second test. That means if a visitor does not understand your website within the first five seconds after he or she sees it, you need to redesign it. Otherwise, you might be losing money. Don't mess too much with native shopping ads. While native shopping ads can be a great way to monetize your affiliate website besides your affiliate links, do not rely too much on them. You can make navigation on your page annoying. Use only recommendation ads in places where you don't have affiliate links and call it a day. Don't forget about offering value. The most important thing that people will find on your product or your affiliate reviews is not the number of affiliate links or products that you offer. It is the value of helping them make a decision. Remember, people will land on your service, product page, or affiliate blog ready to make a purchase. You just have to push them to make it. Don't just set it and forget it. It is true that we talked about the importance of automating the money-making process, but automation does not equal neglect. Automate the process, but make sure to pay special attention to how you present your content, particularly during heavy shopping seasons like the holidays. Don't forget about the details. Sometimes the smallest details are the easiest to overlook. Stuff such as titles, developers, company names, authors, formats, sizing, year of manufacturing, and conditions can have an impact because you never know when someone is looking at some of those details. Enthusiasts and collectors always look for details related to release dates and formatting. For example, help them find what they are looking for by including those details right in your descriptions and reviews. Don't use exact matches for your domain names. Using exact matches as domain names is when marketers use the exact name of a product or service as the domain name for their affiliate websites. This will not necessarily help you reach the top spot on search results, and you would benefit better by going after something more specific related to your niche and its audience. Don't rely too much on paid advertising. Paid advertising can leave you out of the game easily if you don't exercise caution, because it can eat up your budget on a whim. It is better to just focus on branding, value, quality, service, search optimization strategies, and picking good niches. If you have those right, people will promote in your favor. Don't stick to a single traffic source. Sticking to a single source of traffic can be as defeating as not tracking and optimizing your descriptions or affiliate offers regularly. There is a reason why the most successful sellers and affiliate marketers tell you to work on multiple product variations or affiliate websites at the same time, even if you offer the same type of stuff on each instance. By getting traffic and prospects from different sources through different channels, you can see what works best, so you can ultimately narrow down your options and adapt accordingly. Don't go into oversaturated niches. While one of the best strategies is selling and promoting best sellers and top rated products in the Amazon marketplace, it is good to remember that some really popular products have saturated the market. This means that you might be out of luck if you decide to only sell or promote smartphones, for example. Focus on niches that are unlikely to saturate the market. Don't try to do everything at once. If you are succeeding with Amazon now, concentrate on getting better and making more money from it. Remember that Amazon is a household brand. You don't want to risk losing it as your business partner.